Where's he gone? He went Max, clear it off. I thought I was going solo. Ignite your purpose. Never. Ignite your purpose. Episode 73. Uh, Energy Fields. We uh, we spoke the last two episodes about grizzly bears and baby cows. If you want to know more, yesterday's show, check it out. The day before that, being more self-aware and uh, clocking when our vibrations are low and other people are dragged low and vice versa. And things. So Max Max made talk about the Canmore Energy Vortex, which is a thing. Um, you may not. What are you going to talk about, Max? Um, yeah, energies, baby, energies. I know even when you've been talking about this, I know a lot of people think uh, on the foo-foo realm, <laughs> but it is. I mean, it is one of the universal laws, right? Opposites attract. Uh, what you put out, you get back. Yeah, the, yeah. These are laws. And if you, I mean, I, I did it with John when he was here, man. I, I, I tested him on the dials. Ask. He wasn't a believer until I pulled out those dials. John, we maybe we'll talk about that too. But you can measure how far your energy goes out, man. It's, it's, these are known facts. I thought it was horseshit until I became a believer. On the, on the physical level, I'll say this. John knows my whole history of 10 years. If you yeah, knew yeah, me yeah. 10 years ago and my energy field and who I rolled with to, to today, I don't even hang with the same people. Like there, I don't even know if there's, there might be one or two I still, still vibe with. But, um, and we've heard the saying, you know, if you, if you get money or if you lose money, you, you change or they change. No, yeah, it's, yeah. it's how you operate and what you put out that attracts, right? You're, you're attracting and you're repelling. Um, and for me, I totally do not, not hang at all with the people I used to because my energy has changed so much. And you also, once you become accustomed to this, you can feel other people's energies. There's rooms at parties I won't even walk into because I kind of walk in the door and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> these ain't the people I need to be chilling with. I didn't yeah, let yeah. that cheat. You know what I mean? So um, it's a thing. It's a thing. What you put out, you get back. It is a fact. It is that simple. John. Well, as I was, I was wondering how we were going to tie all these conversations together. I've made some notes. If I if I look down every now and again, uh, please excuse me. John's it's, always prepared. I literally I sat down five minutes before this and thought, how can we bring it together? So we know everything in the universe is made out of energy. We are energy. It might appear as skin and bones, but um, when you photograph, you can photograph uh, with a special lens and camera plants and humans and animals and of energy so if you look at some dead food you know microwave meal versus a nice white melon or some mango or something you can see the difference um and i was going to say we did this test with max last year we got the rods out and it was walk to me thinking of your best creation your most amazing things and the energy field kind of bounced way out and then doing the same thing thinking about something negative I almost I almost touched Max and before that I was aware of it, but I kind of thought it was a bit of bullshit. It was a bit woo-woo, a bit foo-foo, however you want to describe it, but it is there. Since then, I'm now much more aware of how I am. That's good. What you're me. saying in your head. Pardon? And what you're saying in your head, what you're thinking. Yeah. And and because I'm now aware of how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and how I'm saying and how I'm behaving, I can now influence other people by my behavior, whether I choose to be positive or negative, um, by listening to people, be by actively engaging with people, but not engaging with the negative comments and negative thoughts. So turn it over. Um, and, this, and this helps the people around me, I hope, whether yes, they know it or not, but it also helps me. Um, and it's the same when I, 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 I'm i mindful about what I eat because that will affect my energy fields. Mindful about what I watch. I'm really careful about the social media at certain times of day. In the morning, I don't go near it. In the evening, I don't go near it. Even media full stop, I'm very picky and choosy about what I choose to read and not. Uh, especially in the morning and the evening. They're the super special times. Um Getting outside, touching the earth, getting your shoes off, walking on the beach, walking on the grass, just getting the, it's all connected. Uh, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm a bit short on time. Emma knows when I'm meditating and when I'm training. She just knows. 
I could get up in the morning, go downstairs with the intention of doing both. And if I've not done it, I just no, she doesn't even have to ask me. So that's that. So I'll try and give you a takeaway from this, as we often do. Sorry, Max, I'll give you a chance to say something in a second. Um, so, oh, sorry. If you yeah. can catch us, the next time you get in the, in the funk, in the mood, in the groove, you're just not great. Try and catch yourself. Try and clock up when you're pissed off and funked off. And when you do that, give yourself 90 seconds to catch your breath, to stop, to look at the situation, almost take yourself out of you and kind of look down on the situation and try and bring something out of it that you can appreciate. Whether that's you can see what's going on, you can hear what's going on. You've woken up and, and your body works in the morning. Whether you're just grateful for being a human being because you could be a fucking tree or an ant or a piece of soil or whatever it is. So whenever you get in a funk, just try and step back within 90 seconds. What can you appreciate from that situation? No matter how tragic or terrible it is, there's, there's always something you can pull out of it. Um, and you stop the suffering in its tracks right then. Max. Can I add to that? I'm going to add to that, John, as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and it might not be just you. We're talking energy field. So pay attention to yourself, obviously, first and foremost, then who you're around. Maybe, yeah. maybe let's say you're at work and one of the crazy social media sites is on or media is on and it's blaring and it's in your back. It's in your subconscious mind. Maybe there's somebody around you who's going through something horrible and their energy is plopped onto you. I spoke about this earlier, about what's going on in the universe. That shit yeah. is legit. Pay attention to everything that surrounds you. And also some homework for you guys. <clears throat> I can't remember his name right now. Dr. M. He's a Japanese doctor. Everybody's heard of this. I'm sure where they do the test of the water droplets and they also put the water in the plants, correct, right? They play heavy metal music, they'll play Mozart, they'll play classical, they'll play gangster rap. <clears throat> and it, that water, when it freezes, right, John, you know what I'm talking about? Even just writing love or hate on the yes, side. Co correct. Um, but when they photograph the actual snowflake, the crystal, crystal, the beauty of the vibration from the classical, the Mozart, which are real instruments, right, that resonate at what? The earth tone. Start reckoning, start realizing what the earth vibrates at, the ohms. Um, that's why in meditation, ohm is a thing because it vibrates a certain way in our mind, in our body. It resonates. Sorry, John, I'm fucking rambling too. I'm so pumped right now. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, check him out. We'll put a link to it. Dr. M, I can't, I can't really say his name. It's, he's a Japanese doctor. And yeah. look at how beautiful the star flakes are, the frozen flakes are with the, the real music and look at what they are with angry, hateful, well, I don't want to say hateful, but just angry, whether it's music it's or vibrations, it's ugly. So it, it is fact. We are what we think. We are what we do. We are what we surround ourselves with. So make it good. It's that simple. We're here for a good time, not a long time, people. So enjoy. <laughs> it is a thing. And, you know, back in the day, it was a bit woo-woo, a bit foo-foo, but the more you become aware the more you kind of open your mind the more you go you know, there's something in that and then that opens the door to the next experience and you go okay we we had a visitor last year and came over in a funk and in, in a heartbeat emma and i are we just came straight down and emma said look quite as two of us let's get a drink and then we we raised our our vibration we changed our our tone and we were back to our positive energy full people and that lifted this third person up and uh, who then went on to have uh, an incredible three weeks at the house. but that is it episode 73 we are done we are out thank you you could be anywhere in the world you're right here with us with me and him so uh we, we appreciate that and um wherever you are just be awesome max remember people it's all interlinked it's it's not just one thing it all interlinks the rabbit hole of the matrix goes down. It's the red pill or the blue pill. If you're rolling with us, you in the rabbit hole. We thank you. We appreciate. We know you can be anywhere in the world. <laughs> I know John's got to go. Got to go. Peace.